Hey YouTube, what's up? All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, this is a quick video of a new project I'm working on. Um, I picked this guy here up, SD40. This is a Athens RTR model. Um, I picked this up a while ago off of eBay for 30 bucks. And this is the test subject. So, um, when I purchased this, the, uh, back coupler was broken off. Um, just a quick overview of it. The wheels, they're pretty much, they need to be cleaned real bad. Um, it's just a lot of buildup. They're not shiny. I don't know if electrical current will go through this, but I have put it on the layout and the unit does move. So I guess that's a plus. Um, the front one is okay, but um, like I said, other than that, the trucks need a good thorough cleaning for electrical continuity. Um, just other than that, um, it has the metal uh, stanchions on it. Um, and this particular model, I'm really not sure about this. I've seen some people convert these to uh, DCC. And I remember Digitrax used to make a uh, wire and harness for this. You just snap the old one off, snap the new one on, and yada, 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 you were good to go. So um, that's that. Um, but. I will be weathering this. This is just the beginning of it, um, just to show the model. This is the actual road number for this particular Conrail model, 6408. Now, this website here, I don't know if you guys know about it, but this is um, nslocos.com. You can go in here and... Um, it's just an assortment of photos of all the uh, NS uh, mode of power. So here, you just go here, you stroll down, and you just find your particular model or uh, the particular road number. So this is an X Conrail, so you would go down to pretty much right there. CR, that's Conrail of abbreviations, SR, Southern Railroad, NS is, of course, Norfolk Southern. Then you got NW, that's Norfolk Western, and all of the foreign power that they bought and have repainted. Those SD75Ms that they purchased a while ago, those were BNSF locos, so they've been repainted. If not, it will show uh, the lease SD40s, the... CFX, all of those, some of them may be in their original paint scheme, some of them may be in the NS paint scheme, literally. So, um, okay, so back to this. Um, so this particular unit, it is a uh, SD40, so we're gonna go to SD40 2 because that's what it is, but that's Southern Railroad, so you want to scroll down to the uh, Conrail ones. And I think I found it in this particular one. So, once you uh, click on it and you find your locomotive uh, make model, you just scroll down. Now, remember, this loco is 6408. So, you can find it based upon its actual number there, right beside history. And then the number to the left of history, that is the read number that Norfolk Southern has put it into. So if you scroll down here, we're going to find 6408. 6408 is not on the list. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it was damaged. Maybe it was in a wreck. I don't know. So if you really can't find the one you want, just find one a closer by. It's 3357. This is the next one in line. So this was the sister after that one. So just looking at this photo here, uh, it's pretty weathered, but I really don't want to catch one in the Norfolk Southern black and white. I want to catch one in actual the Conrail paint scheme. 
So it'll take a while for you to stroll through these and actually find one. Okay, 3354. So its original number was 6403. This would be a good one to um, whether this behind, whether this unit. Um, like I said, I don't know if I would use this one because then I would have to find the other side. This is the engineer side, so you would need the conductor side. So um, you may find problems with that. There's other websites you can go to to uh, find these. But um, we can keep strolling back. See, can we find another one in Conrail Paint Scheme? Um, this is another one, but it's really not a good view. Also, this is the Conrail Quality uh, Paint Scheme. So this is an old, pretty much Pennsylvania Railroad Conrail engine that was pretty much merged in when Conrail acquired Pennsylvania back in the day. So um, you could tell that by if you could see in the number board on the side is PRR, that's Pennsylvania Railroad. So this is where this unit actually comes from. It comes from uh, the Pennsylvania Railroad. Here's another one. This one here is I'm, I'm liking this one. It's, it's very uh intriguing model because the engine door is Norfolk Southern door and it also has the Conrail but if I'm going to stay true to this unit I have to find one in a can opener paint scheme so you know you just have to look on here and stroll through the many and many different locos uh, this website has uh, before you actually find one um, I want to keep my um, layout with Conrail Blue Locos on it, also with Norfolk Southern on there. So that's the way I want it, blue and black. But um, I will not repaint this into um, Norfolk Southern because I bought two SD40s already in Norfolk Southern paint scheme. Um, so this here is going to stay in Conrail Blue. Um, also, if I cannot find one, with the can opener logo, I could just get decals and do it that way, but I'd rather not choose to because, you know, you have to go through all of that. So if the if it's there, just leave it there and just go from there. But um, I'm not having any luck finding anymore. But um, yeah, like I said, you know, that was a uh, 33. Where's it at? Um. I think that was 3354. Alright, so I don't know. This may be the unit that I'm uh weathered this one behind. Um I'm not, you know, gonna waste a lot of time with uh trying to find one. Um the only other problem with this Conrail engine, let me let my so alright, alright. Right here, uh whoever I bought this from, uh I don't know if he tried to put a light in the nose. Or whatever the case may be, I'm going to have to take the uh, hood off and uh, go under there and see what's going on. But um, other than that, I'm going to have to put a patch job on that with a uh, strip styrene or sheet styrene and cover that up. Um, I have seen some where they had a patch job on the nose. Sort of like this one here. You can tell it had class lights on the hood, on the uh, low hood right here. But they've been patched over, so... Um, you know, stuff like that is an option. It just depends on how you want to do it. Also, this unit is bleached pretty good. So it's not a dark blue like this model. It's not a dark blue like this model. So I would have to bleach that down pretty much with some uh, white paint and go from there. So um, that is pretty much it. The next video into this series will be up. I don't know, in a couple of days, if not, maybe tomorrow, um, I still have to go and get something uh, with my next layout update that I will be posting up soon. So uh, y'all stay tuned, man, and uh, see y'all later. Peace.